It's Frank with Connecticut Stormwater Authority. We're here in Westport. We just wrapped up a job. In fact, our crews just rolled out of here with a few dump trucks. We did the final touches on this project, and I want to kind of breeze you through what we did on this stormwater system. Very unique project, interesting house, and the homeowners are really taking a discerning approach to make improvements here for drainage and roof runoff to just make sure that they can enjoy the property, things stay dry, tidy, and safe, more importantly. So if you see behind me all the seagrass, this is our point of entry to the backyard where we put our system in the ground. What we needed to do was pull all the seagrass out, delicately put it to the side. We were able to drive tri-axle dump trucks directly over this area. And then upon completion, today in fact, we replanted everything and everything looks great. If you could see behind, you could see all that brand new topsoil spread and leveled. That's where the system lives underground and we leveled everything off today and spread some beautiful topsoil. It's ready for some seed and straw and grass will be growing here in no time. So on the front side, when we were talking to the homeowners about our plan and our design for the system, they really wanted to try to utilize as much of the existing drainage as possible and connect those to our new system to get the best bang for the buck. We accepted that approach and in order to confirm what they had and what they didn't have, we needed to do a camera inspection. So we sent our cameras into all of these ground drains coming off of the roof. The gutters and downspouts tie into these ground drains all around the perimeter of the house. And what we found was there was quite a bit of damage. Uh, the existing pipe was thin wall pipe. It crushes very easily. The backside of the house had the, uh, in fact, the entire backside of the house was damaged beyond uh, reuse. So we had to dig everything up and lay all new crush resistant piping. And in the front here on this berm, there's a 20 foot section of pipe that was crushed in multiple locations. So we needed to unearth that and reset a new pipe in order to connect the roof drains to our trench drain and send all the water out the back of the property. These trench drains are one of the key features to our system. We use them often enough. They're not cheap, but they're highly effective. These are oversized, almost commercial quality and size trench drains to accept any water that comes at them. If you look at the grates themselves, they're essentially double wide. Residential, do-it-yourself size is generally about half, about four and a half inches. We have a, a 10 inch grate on top. These are cast iron. The depth on our trench is 12 inches. The inside diameter is eight inches. And we set everything with hydraulic cement. Hydraulic cement is not, not cheap by any stretch of the imagination, but it cures fast. It's super strong PSI wise, and it allows us to cut this and retrofit it into an existing asphalt driveway. So here we are in the rear of the house. We actually laid trench and pipe at approximately 250 feet. You wouldn't know it looking at the back of the property because we cleaned everything up nicely and, and graded effectively, but we laid 250 feet of new pipe coming off of all the roof drains. We also were working in conjunction with the homeowner's mason who was on site working on the patio. We were able to work effectively and cooperatively, get in and get out. This was a four day project start to finish. So this is one of the key features in our systems. We use them time and again when we're using any, anything over four or five chambers. In this space here, this is where our Coltec chambers reside. We actually have eight 330 XL HD chambers. They're rather large. They're over 30 inches tall and they're five and a half feet wide. And we have eight of them, two rows of four. They live here in this space. And what we have here under this green cap is our Coltec T80 filter. Again, key feature in the sense that it creates a maintenance point for us. It captures all of the debris that's traveling in the water. The only thing we want to have pass into our chambers is water only. So any solids that are passing through the pipe could be leaves, could be twigs, could be toxins from uh, bird excrement. Anything that might travel through the gutter, down the downspout into our drainage, gets captured in this box. And the only thing that gets to pass beyond this box is clean water. This way our Coltec chambers stay pristine and last for a long, long time. We come out and service this box once or twice a year, take all the solids out of the box, put everything back together, and everything is uh, honky-dory inside this system. 